Okay, I've got one more link that I want to show you, and that's the mail to link. Now I've taken a little liberty with my Bill of Rights page, and I've gone ahead and added a mail to link at the very bottom. Do you see where it says, please email me for your input? That's a mail to link. Now, if I didn't have the word email here, you wouldn't be able to distinguish it from any other link. So I'm going to click on it. When I do that, it brings up my default email software. However your computer is configured, that's what it will bring up. Now, notice that it's already addressed to me and that it has a subject of Bill of Rights. I don't really want to send that to myself. That'd be kind of silly. So I'm just going to quit. And let's quit Safari. Let me show you the code that I used to generate this. Now I went down to the bottom of our HTML for the Bill of Rights page and I added in this section of code right here. The first line is simply a comment. It's I'm documenting what I'm doing. And I came in, I wanted to have a little white space between the last line and my email link or my mail to link. So I put in a couple of breaks that I wanted my link to be a little bit bigger and centered on the page. The way I accomplished that was to use the style attribute and applied it to the paragraph tag. So everything in this paragraph I set to be 20 pixels high, font size 20 pixels, and text align center. The next two lines are my mail to link or the beginning of my mail to links where I started out. The first line is just like any other anchor tag it begins with A. We then have href equals quote mail to colon. That tells your browser to expect an email address. And I put in my email address, mark.winnegar at mac.com. The question mark is not part of my email address. It's there to tell the browser that there's more to follow. Um, so we'll take a look at the second line. The rest of it that follows is the at subject. My subject heading for my email follows. At subject equals, and it's going to look a little funny to you, but that says Bill of Rights. Now you might be saying, hey Mark, what are you drinking in your coffee? That says Bill, percentage sign 20 of percentage sign 20 rights. Well, that's how I typed it in. But percent 20 is interpreted as a blank space. So I get bill space of space rights. And then I end my tag. Notice also that the quotes are before mail to and all the way at the end of my subject. So that's my start tag. I then put in the text that I want to anchor this tag to. Please email me your input. The next one simply ends the tag and then I end the paragraph. That's all of the new code that I added to get this mail to link. Give it a try. I think you'll have some fun with it.